We are long overdue for a yard sale and thrift haul. Let's hop into it. Hey guys, I hope you are having a wonderful October. I have gone to thrift stores and yard sales, consignment stores over the past couple of weeks, just kind of sporadically. Usually it's not planned. Usually it's a stop in on the way to somewhere or a last minute decision. So I have some finds from my recent trips and I want to share them with you guys. Some of them I have prices for and some of them I do not but let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, I'm gonna start out with a few things that I found that I'm gonna tug away for summer of next year. So we went to a yard sale. It was kind of a community yard sale and one of our friends had a booth there. So she had this really fun bag. I love kind of a straw looking bag with darker kind of leather straps. And I found this one at her booth and I just thought it was so beautiful and she sold it to me for a dollar. It's lined on the inside. It's really nice and it does have one little interior pocket. So I just thought this would make a really great bag for the spring and summer so I'm just going to tuck it away for then but for a dollar I don't think you can beat that. All right sticking with that same vein you never know what you're going to find at the thrift store and I try to keep things seasonally appropriate but sometimes if you find something really good off season it just pays to go ahead and grab it and tuck it away. So that was the case with this pair of shoes. This is the brand New Directions and it is just this really beautiful pair of woven sandals with this heel. It's not too exaggerated. They're very comfortable. I was so happy to find them. I love shoes in this color. A lot of my shoes are this color. So these were five dollars and I'm happy to add them to my collection. And I think they really pair nicely with the bag. All right, the last little summary find here, I found this hat for my daughter. She had one similar to this that had a gingham bow and I have not been able to find it. So when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. It is just the most precious hat. I don't even know what brand it is, but I love the little blue band and then the white bow in the back. And I don't remember how much I paid for this one, but I, I don't think it was very much. It may have been a dollar. At a yard sale, I found a set of three Scooby-Doo books. They have some stickers on the front from where kids have pulled the stickers out of the back, but we will still be able to read them just fine. I thought these would be fun to add into our kind of uh, fall and Halloween collection. So we have Scooby-Doo Disappearing Donuts. We have Scooby-Doo Vanishing Apples. And we have Scooby-Doo Football Fight. So these will go in the fall bin and I'm looking forward to reading those with the kids. All right, actually one more kind of summary item. I found a pair of shoes for each of the kids. So for my daughter, I found this pair of Crazy 8 slides. They're just kind of a rose gold color. And those were really inexpensive. A lot of these things I don't know the exact price for because I bundled them at a yard sale. And then same thing with these shoes for my son. Now these are a few sizes ahead, so he'll have to grow into them, but he really likes high top Nikes. And I found these Air Jordans and they are really in excellent shape and I love the blue and white color. He was really excited for me to get these for him. All right, while we are on kids clothing, the weather has started to turn chilly and it made me realize that there are quite a few holes in my kids' wardrobes, particularly for my daughter. We had gotten lots of hand-me-downs and we were just saturated with shorts and short sleeve shirts and nice dresses for the summer. And then now that we are going into autumn, I just realized that she needs quite a few things. So I've got a few things here and then I'm still on the hunt for a couple of things. I found her this really cute pair of leggings. They're kind of a, a corduroy type material, very comfortable and stretchy and they're sort of a seafoam green color. I got her two pairs of jean jegging kind of pants. Uh, one of them is dirty because she's already worn them, but this is a pair of straight leg old navy jeans. Just a good staple pair of jeans to have for the fall time. The next two are tops. This one may have to be put back for next year, but I just thought it was so sweet. I love the lace detailing and the bow and the little pearls. I think that this with a little headband or a ponytail with a little matching bow would just be really sweet. So this will either be worn this year as sort of an oversized tunic or I will just put it back for next year to wear as a top. And then the other one is from Old Navy. This one actually still had the tags on it. And this and most of the rest of these clothing uh, came from Once Upon a Child. But this is what it looks like. It is just 
I don't know, it's just fun. It's different and it's one of those things that on its own sort of leans masculine, but you can really dress it up and make it your own with accessories. So I thought that that would be really cute for the fall time. And I think it can be worn on its own or I think you can unbutton it and sort of wear it over something and wear it open. It's getting that time of day where the sun is starting to stream in, so I keep having to adjust here. All right, that's all for kids clothing. One of the most exciting things was we went to what was really more of like an antique store where they have booths and people have things set up. I'll be honest, I don't go to those very often just because I am more of a picker. I am more of somebody who likes to do the grunt work myself and save the dollar. And when you go to some place like that, somebody has done the work for you of curating those items and that's reflected in the price. So a lot of times the prices are higher than what I want to pay. But for some people it's perfect because they don't want to do that grunt work on the front end. So I got this set of two gingham photo storage bins. And of course, you know, you can store anything you want to in them. It's just a hollow box. There are no dividers or anything. But I spotted them and immediately envisioned styling them on some shelves with some other things in our home. But I thought they're probably going to be more than I want to pay. And I was pleasantly surprised that they were $3 a piece. I just could not believe the price for these. All right, I've pulled our shade to kind of get some of that harsh light off. So hopefully that'll be better. I just could not believe the price. And then once I FaceTimed my sister, she said, those are so you. And I feel like that is the best compliment to your things and to your sense of style is not that this is right or this is what is best for everybody, but when somebody says, that looks like you. And whenever I lay the pieces out here that I got over these last few trips, I go, that looks like me. And that's how I kind of know that I'm on the right track. There may be some things that you see in a store that you think, I don't know if this person would like this, or I don't know if this is to their taste, but that is the good thing about yard sailing and thrifting is you get to find things that are just your unique taste and those things that fit your home and your style. I just really find all of that very enjoyable. So I was very pleased to find these and I can't wait to wipe them down and style them. At that same yard sale where my friend sold me that bag, she also sold me a water bottle. I'm always looking for water bottles for the kids and it's nice to know where they're coming from. So this was her daughter's and she didn't really use it anymore. So of course we brought it home and really cleaned it up well. And it has been such a good water bottle. It's one of the bigger ones that we've gotten. And so it's nice that it holds a large amount. We don't have to refill it as often. And she has really enjoyed carrying that. I believe that one may have also been been a dollar. It was very inexpensive. All right, these last few items I saved for last because they are Christmas things. So two of them I cannot show because they are for the ornament exchange. I started doing this last year with the ladies that I'm in Bible study with. We met at my house and everybody brought an ornament and it was just so much fun and you got to steal and kind of treat it like what we call Naughty Santa. I know different people call it different things, um, but we just had so much fun. So I went ahead and got two ornaments and I'll just have to show them to you in December once we've kind of done the ornament exchange because I don't want to give them away. But I bought two because I couldn't decide and I thought, well, there may be somebody that wants to come to the party but doesn't have time to get an extra ornament or something like that. And I just want to have that extra one so I can offer that to somebody if they need it to participate. The next thing actually my husband found, and these are three books for my son. He is very into Pokemon and we always want to encourage reading. So my husband found this set of three Pokemon books. Full price, they are $4.99 a piece and I paid $1.50 for each of them. So I'm either going to wrap them all up and make them their own little small gift or I'm gonna put them in his stocking. I haven't decided yet, but I'm so excited to give him those and to already have something marked off of my Christmas list. Have you guys started Christmas shopping yet? I, I'm feeling the pull uh, to go ahead and start collecting things. I have actually kept a running list on my phone all year, just so I don't get to that moment and not have any ideas, especially for family. I don't know how it works with your family, but a lot of times in our family, the way that it works is people will ask me what to gift the kids because they know that our house is fairly small. They know that, you know, 
I'd like some input on what's coming in. And so often I'm just left at a loss because I, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it. So I feel pretty good this year going in that I have a list of things that I feel like they will enjoy or that they've maybe mentioned in passing or that I just feel like would be a useful thing to them. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments if you have started your Christmas shopping or making a list yet. All right, and the last Christmas items are two jars. So last year I did Vlogmas where I did a video almost every day in December. And I shared with you guys what I ended up doing for teacher gifts was a hot chocolate kit. So I'm actually gonna do that again this year and I think I'll pair it with a gift card. But I think that it's so nice to either do a gift card or do something consumable that you know, in this time of year when so much is coming in, it's something that they can have and then be done with it. So I created some little recipe cards and I will go ahead and link those down below in case you like this idea and you want to do it. I will just give those cards and you can print them out. But I like this because I give them everything they need to make the hot chocolate and then I give them the recipe so if they like it, they can continue to make it again for their family. So I found two of these beautiful jars and I love like a, a Nordic fair isle kind of pattern and that's what these are. So the jars are identical and you can see I paid $1.50 for each of them. And so I will be able to put my cocoa powder and my sugar in here and then I will give them each a jar of evaporated milk and then they just add water to that according to the recipe. So I will just have to keep my eye out over the next couple of months as I go to the thrift store and try to find a couple more vessels that are kind of Christmas inspired to hold the hot chocolate mix. All right, you guys, well, that is all for this video. I, I feel like the lighting has just been crazy. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching it. I am so excited for all the holidays to come. I've mentioned before that these burr months are my favorite time of year. So I'm really excited for the things to come and I'm excited to enter the holiday season prepared with a little bit of planning. And I always love to sprinkle in secondhand finds. So as I find things to put in stockings or gifts, I will be sure to share those with you guys. Thank you guys as always for stopping by Yard Sale Squad. If you liked this video and you have not yet subscribed, please make sure to do that. I love having new people here and I hope that I can spread some joy to your day. Thank you again for watching and I'll be talking to you soon.